this morning, allies of President Trump joining in a chorus of anger. Three Republican members of Congress sending this letter to Senate and House Intelligence Committees demanding that President Obama's former national security advisor be called to testify, saying that Susan Rice's behavior appears negligent at best and criminal at worst. To them, she could be the smoking gun that proves President Obama wiretapped President Trump. But from Rice, a firm denial. I leaked nothing to nobody and never have and never would. She does admit that she asked to unmask the identities of Americans picked up by surveillance. But she says it was all part of her job. This is not uh, anything uh, political has, has been alleged. That's absolutely false. We can't be passive consumers of this information and, not, and do our jobs effectively to protect the American people. Rice would not name names, but sources tell ABC News that as the intelligence community investigated Russia's election meddling, in some cases, Trump campaign and transition officials were caught up in surveillance. Rice requesting their identities. Republican lawmakers outraged. So if this is what people are saying it is, this is totally unusual and I think totally wrong and inappropriate. And Senator Rand Paul tweeting, smoking gun found. But Rice says there was nothing illegal and there was no wiretapping. The intelligence community, the director of the FBI uh, has made that very clear. There was no such collection surveillance on Trump Tower or Trump individuals. And today, U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Susan Rice wrote, quote, the position of Secretary of State should never be politicized. I'm saddened that we've reached this point even before you have decided whom to nominate. And she shared the news on NBC. I didn't uh, want to uh, see a confirmation process that was very prolonged, uh, very politicized, uh, very distracting uh, and very disruptive because there are so many things we need to get done as a country. Just weeks ago, Rice, a tough and smart rising star in the Obama administration, was the president's top choice to serve as the next secretary of state. But she drew a lightning storm of Republican criticism for repeating talking points from the intelligence community that seemed to critics to downplay the terrorist attack on the diplomatic compound in Benghazi, Libya. What this began as was a spontaneous. The concerns I have are greater today than they were before, and we're not even close to getting the basic answers. It is clear that the information that she gave the American people was incorrect. The president in a statement today praised Rice, who will stay at her U.N. post and expressed regret for, quote, the unfair and misleading attacks on her. For her withdrawal, President Obama had concluded that Senator John Kerry would be a better choice to be the nation's top hey, diplomat. Know. With Look Kerry almost certain to be tapped, sources say former Senator Chuck Hagel, a Nebraska Republican, seems to today have an edge to be the next defense secretary. Um, and so expect a lot more nothing to do snow. with the president's claims about nothing, wiretapping. Nothing. Nothing to do with wiretapping at all. But that distinction is not is, is without a difference to most hardcore partisans right now who are desperately trying to either defend the president or, or deflect away from the, the main investigation. Also in Washington, it's a busy, busy week in Washington right now. It's going on right now on the floor of the Senate. You see this filibuster by the Democrats. Jeff Merkley, the senator from Oregon, uh, is right there uh, talking. He's been talking through the night about Judge Gorsuch. Now, this is over, though. Come Friday... <laughs> Judge Gorsuch is going to be Supreme Court Justice uh, Neil Gorsuch. I guess the question is, will this change in the rules, this nuclear option, what kind of impact will it have down the road? Look, and that's the real story. Cut to the chase. You know, Mitch McConnell pulls the nuclear option. Gorsuch becomes a Supreme Court Justice. But it's the change of raising that level to a Supreme Court Justice. That is a change in precedent. And Democrats knew that endgame when they opposed him. And here's the real problem. The standard, as you know, isn't whether you disagree with the judge. It's whether he's qualified to sit. And he presented himself as a conservative but a conciliator. And that makes it very difficult difficult to hold that line.